Okay, welcome to the downloading portion, and I guess partly the installing portion of RimPy Mod Manager. For anyone interested, this background is just a picture of the Thomas Fire in California. So, to start, you got to open a web browser. I'm going to use Firefox, and then you'll need to go to a search engine. I'll use DuckDuckGo, and just type in Steam RimWorld Workshop, and it'll bring you straight to it. I'll also have a link that you can just click in the description. Now, before we click enter, we gotta get a little background music going. Some loafy chilled beats. Turn that down a little. All right, there we go. Steam community, RimWorld, that's what we want. Let's look for RimPy. And there you'll see right here by Paladin, RimPy Mod Manager Database. Now, this is just the database. This is not the manager itself. It's made by the community, a bunch of rules that have been submitted. Don't worry about that. You don't even actually need this, although I do recommend you either subscribe it or off offline download this database. It will help you sort your mods and ideally should resolve many, many conflicts that the community has figured out. Also noted, here is a Kofi link for our, uh, our creator Paladin. Our, our creator. Uh, our god. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Kofi or Kofi, I don't know, however it's pronounced, but anyways, uh, support him if you can. I think that's uh, always good to support the community who provide you content. Now, pay for what you like, not what you are forced to pay for, right? Description includes very useful information. You should read through it, especially about how the mod manager sorts, and uh, it's also pretty, if I do say so myself. Oh, I wonder who made it. Okay, um, Windows link for downloading right here. That's what I'm going to use. There's also a Linux one. It's usually behind. But hey, if you're using Linux, that's off to you. So, new tab, continue to external site, goodbye Steam. Brings us to a Google Drive download. And uh, I'm just going to download it from here. And it should be noted that all the files are compressed which just means they've been made smaller. And you're going to need something like WinRAR, 7-Zip, uh, whatever comes with bundled with Windows or uh, iOS or anything else. It's pretty common nowadays, but I use 7-Zip myself. So I'm just going to save the file. And up here you'll see it's downloaded. I can click that and just open it directly, but I'll show you the foolproof method of finding it. So we'll come back to the desktop and we'll go to our Windows Start and then we're just going to type File Explorer and hit Enter. There we go. Now we're going to open up the local disk C, which is most likely where you have your stuff. Users. And then whoever you are. I'm going to be Docs, so opening docs and then we're going to downloads you may also see it pinned on the left hand side which is just as easy you just click it bam here's our download okay double click open and just drag and drop this folder now you'll see in order to open it i used 7-zip so that's where the 7-zip comes into play but anyways, once you've downloaded and extracted your files, decompress them, is now on your desktop. Or at least it's on mine and should be on yours. Open that up. You're going to see a bunch of files and folders, but we don't really care about most of them. You scroll down to the bottom, you're going to find this executable. That is how you launch the manager. And this is the manager itself. So we're just going to right click and create a shortcut. Now move that to the desktop and you have downloaded and 
done a basic installation of RimPy. I'm going to double click it just to show you. And it will be noted here when it launches that all this stuff has auto filled for me. However, it may need to be filled in. I uh, will review some of the features of RimPy in a bit in another video, but that is the basics for downloading and installing RimPy.